I'm gonna show you three steps to get reporting services configured for you to pin visuals to a Power BI dashboard. That's coming up. What's up guys, Adam Saxon, AKA Guy in a Cube. And today's video is gonna be all about configuring reporting services to be able to pin visualizations to a Power BI dashboard. This video will not be about the new upcoming items of using Power BI reports inside of reporting services. We'll talk about that sometime later. I'm also going to assume that you already have reporting services installed and that you already have a tenant where you have Power BI available to you and you are a managed tenant with a global admin in place. And I'll talk about why you need to use that in a little bit. So let's dig in. Okay, the first step that you have to do is register the reporting services server with Power BI itself. The way you go about doing this is inside of the reporting services configuration manager. Inside of the reporting services configuration manager, you will see a tab towards the bottom called Power BI integration. You wanna go ahead and select that and then click register with Power BI. Once you do that, you're gonna be prompted to sign in to Power BI. Now, what's important here is that your account that you're signing in with is a global admin in your tenant. This is because it's going to register an application inside of Azure Active Directory. And in order to do that, you have to be a global admin. So this has to be a managed tenant and you have to be a global admin. This is a one-time sign-in for this account. It will not be used for each individual user. So just be aware of that. After that's done, you'll see some progress information towards the bottom of Reporting Services Configuration Manager, and it should all be green. If you get an error at this point, it's probably because the account that you signed in with is not a global admin in the tenant. And if you're not sure if your account is a global admin, if you're not the administrator of the tenant, chances are you're probably not a global admin. So you'll need to reach out to whoever the admin is of the tenant to be able to assist you with this step. This is the only step that will require a global admin account to be used. After this, it's all about the individual user. Another thing to note here while we're on the server itself is that SQL agent needs to be running on the SQL server database instance that is hosting the reporting services catalog database. This is because we actually take advantage of the subscription service inside of reporting services. And in order to do that, SQL agent needs to be running. So make sure that that is running. And if you're not sure, check with your DBA. Okay, step number two, the individual users have to sign into Power BI from reporting services. This is so that we can actually get your access token to be able to interact with Power BI successfully. The way you go about doing that is go ahead and browse to the reporting services web portal, and then go and click on the gear icon in the upper right, select my settings, and then you'll, be, you'll have a button there that says sign into Power BI. At that point, go and sign into Power BI and you will get, you will see a message there that says you were successfully signed in. Okay, step number three is to actually go in and try and pin a visual to a Power BI dashboard. To do this, we wanna to browse to an actual paginated report. Once you're in that report up on the toolbar, you will see a Power BI icon. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select that, at which point everything will go black on the report except for the items that you can actually pin to a Power BI dashboard. So you can't pin everything, some things like tables and whatnot, you can't pin. There are certain visualizations that you can, such as charts and things of that nature. So if you don't see, if it's all black, it's because you don't have something on that report that can be pinned to a Power BI dashboard. So go ahead and select the item that you want to pin. At that point, you'll be prompted with a dialogue that asks you to choose the workspace that you wanna add this to and then the dashboard that's inside of that workspace. You can also set the frequency of when you want the image visual for the tile to be updated. That is actually setting the schedule for the subscription that's used. At that point, it will actually pin the visual to the Power BI dashboard, and it'll give you the option to go ahead and check out the Power BI dashboard itself. And you will be able to see that, move it around, resize it, do whatever you want to with that tile. When you click on that tile, it will actually take you back to the reporting services report, assuming that you have network access to the RS server. Okay, my question for today is, are you actually using the reporting services integration with Power BI? Are you actually pinning items from RS to a Power BI dashboard? I'd love to know your experience and just to know how many people are actually using this. Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. And as always, if you like the video, give it a like. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe for more great content. Thank you so much for watching and keep being awesome.